Alright, what's going on guys? So, I know I look kind of crazy, but today we're going to do something a little different. Um, it's what I call a true wash and go. This is something I do when I really don't have a lot of time, but I have to wash my hair. Let's just start out with, I guess, the definition of wash and go. Um, like, I guess the real definition of a wash and go is when you actually define your curls. If you are a natural and you do define your curls, basically you go through, you wash your hair on soaking wet hair. You set your hair with a gel, a moisturizer, a styler, whatever to make your curls more defined clump together and in the end you come out with a curly style such as this so this is my wash and go what my wash and go looks like when I define my curls um, now in the definition of the words wash and go like the true definitions of the words it's not really what it is I don't literally wash my hair get out the shower and go like it just doesn't work like that there's a whole nother at least 30 to 45 minute process in between defining my hair so then there's more time added so it's not really the quickest style but is it it is a quicker method I guess um, well you know sort of it's kind of a quicker method this method I'm going to show you is my quickest way of doing a wash and go I think it completely defines the name of wash and go it's a hundred percent me washing my hair putting my my face on putting my makeup on putting my clothes on and going like literally legit um, but this is my hair um, I deconditioned it last night basically and I and I just let it sit overnight okay. and my hair is in four sections and each section is in a braid right now it is 203 as you can see and like I said I'm going to wash my hair I'm going to use this tea tree tingle by Trader Joe's um, I showed this before this is the shampoo and I'm also going to use the conditioner okay um, so I'm finished shampooing and conditioning my hair it is 216 so that means it took me 13 minutes total I think it was 203 the purpose of this style is for it to be quick wash and go so I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna use to uh, lock moisture in my hair I'm not gonna use any styling ingredients at least they're not styling to me um, you know I'm just gonna use the lock method liquid oil cream the first thing I'm gonna use is um, Coles by nature moisturizing shea aloe leave-in conditioner this is my favorite leave-in conditioner um, second to this one is beautiful texture uh, for my oil I'm going to use coconut oil favorite oil I use this oil for every thing it's amazing and then the last cream um, and I'm going to use the shea yogurt hair moisturizer from uh, Alicane Naturals. Right now it is 224. It was 216 when I when I stopped. So what is that? Eight minutes. It took me eight minutes to apply um, my moisture lock method to my hair. So now I'm just going to finish getting ready. Okay, the time is 2:52. Took me about um, 30 minutes to finish my makeup and get dressed. So um, this is basically how I'm going out. Oh, besides, I don't have any lipstick on. Anyway. So like I haven't put anything else on my hair so I'm just going to take it down and how it turns out is how it's just going to be. Now if you have a problem with wearing your hair wet out the door this isn't for you like I really don't have a problem with it. It doesn't bother me that my hair is wet. Um, uh, I would I can't say that I've gotten sick from it or anything like that like obviously if it's like freezing outside I don't go out with damp hair but I mean you know I just I don't cause it you know it doesn't cause a big deal with me and that's it so I'm just gonna show you the back And now also shrinkage is a factor and tangles are a factor. I won't leave it out like this for more than a day uh, because it will tangle up. It is 2.56 and, and my hair is finished. So I've finished my hair, makeup, and gotten ready for the day in an hour. Um, so that is just blows me away. It, it's a quick turnaround time. This style totally works for me. It's like a defi defined frizzy and it, you know it's just big natural hair. If you enjoyed this video of how to get a true wash and go make sure you thumbs it up for me. Also leave me a comment down below if anything you want to see. Check the description box because I will have everything that I use listed down below and that's it. I hope this video helped and you can adapt it to you and to your hair.
thanks for watching guys see you in my next one bye so real quick i just wanted to show you what my hair looked like at the end of the night it's 100 percent dry it's nice and big fluffy yes it has some frizz but it also has some definition to it this is what i love about this style it's a little bit of both and it's kind of like my wash and go is like three days old um so i really love the look of course thanks again for watching guys yes, i'm going to church when i go to church